Hi guys, welcome back. Today we've come to a couple of abandoned farms. These was literally just left behind. The owner passed away and they was just left. So everything's still here, there's vehicles on site. So it should be, we've come through a public footpath as well. So it should be a good explore. Stay tuned, enjoy. Right, so straight away on this site, we come to all this farming equipment here. Some old, an old axle, some old tyres, numerous bits of farming equipment that I can't name, to be honest. This, this Explore today is going to be the first one I've used with the external mic. So I'm hoping that it works out and I, I get home and actually have sound and quality sound. Because I don't know, maybe uh, it hasn't worked. We will see. None of this is in use, clearly. You can see, it's not like a current farmer. So we've got a couple of outbuildings. The gates are still well used, so I don't know if this is access to another farm or whether it's like a green lane in track, but I presume people are still passing through. Got all this building here. Numerous buildings there. And then this is one of the vehicles. Early Land Rover. So it's quite intact. It's obviously quite rusty look. It's obviously been here for a while. But you know these would this would have just been used as a a farming vehicle, you know. Obviously what they was designed for, look, it's just got Bits of equipment, rope and barbed wire and stuff for the fences and stuff uh, in the back. So it was actively being used inside, not so much. Someone's tired to keep the door closed. I suppose the door must have been opening. But it's quite an early one with the setback grill. Is it series? Is it? Quite an early Land Rover. It's obviously a pickup, a van back. I don't know what they actually call them. It's obviously been here for a while. We've got all this steep embankment here, which kind of br brings you good cover, really. Because um, there is houses, quite a few houses on the other side of that. So this is going to be the first time that not only have I just used the external mic on an Explore, but actually used this whole setup. That tripod that I found in the previous video with the abandoned cars, I'm using that for this setup. It's a completely different rig, if you like, compared to what I normally use. So hopefully my panning should be a little bit better and the sound should be better. So we'll carry on through.
So we've got a couple of outbuildings here. I'll probably come back to. Got an old car trailer there, or just a trailer in general. These are beautiful, these buildings. Look at that old lamp there, look, lantern. Light, really nice. This is obviously the first abandoned one. Another Land Rover there. I believe this one's abandoned also. You can hear somebody, somebody up there. Look at that. Obviously for taking things up to the top. Original window there. I'll go over. Look at look at this. Look how well they're built. Look at those stones. Look. Look how big those are. And this here has got an engraving in it. 1866. And then in there. Would have been where the cattle was fed, look. Little feed trays, chains and stuff. I presume that would have stayed in there also. Got this, this is properly old, this. There's the main house. I think from what I've seen, you can't get in that. But I don't mind. I've only come to have a look at the cars. Have a look at this. Not sure what this long thing would be for. Great place for uh, wildlife. Look at the the steel beams, completely rotten. But all the timbers and everything are fine. I love these proper solid stone stairs. They're awesome, and I like the handrail as well. The nice chewed up rope handrail. There is a couple of people over there, but I don't know who they are. Here we go. The beer cow solid, the beams are still. The roof's in really good condition. This is alright up here to be honest. I presume this is maybe just where they kept all the hay then. That thing there obviously would have been a track going up, driven by that motor at the bottom there, that old little engine. It's like a little petrol engine look. Whereas now that'd be electric, but driven by that motor with wooden slats. And then up here looks like a rat's paradise. But I mean, that's a lot of hay, so you wouldn't get animals up the stairs. So obviously they must have just used this for storage for the hay. And then there's a little hatchway there, look, maybe. So maybe they could just push it down and feed them under that one underneath. Pretty cool. Quite a good bit of space. I must admit, there's a, there's a few people here now, and I don't look like massively keen explorers, but I do feel a bit of a geek with this, like vlogging rig with this external mic and stuff it's going to take some getting used to all right so there's the bonnet which i'd imagine oh yeah it's aluminium so that's why it's got that, that corroded like salt corrosion on it rather than actually if that was steel there'd be nothing left same as this really but this is the second vehicle same again an early land rover with the laid back grille Engine is in it. Quite, quite mossy. But these are still quite quite good because they're aluminium, they won't rust or so bad compared to steel. But it's quite a lot in it. All the pedal boxes still in it, transmission still in it, air box, the heater box for inside, still in it, coolant, radiator. Uh, let's have a look. 
this is a D is laughing. Let's just have a better look. Yeah, so this is a diesel. I'm not that clued up in terms of what CC it will be, but if you um, if you got if you guys or anyone watching this is a Land Rover or Defender enthusiast, comment below if you know anything about this. I'm sure my subscribers would love to read it, and I like to read it as well. It's interesting. So yeah, diesel. Bit similar to the one. This one has kind of collapsed. Look at the bulkhead. You can see the bulkheads kind of, and it's kind of all fell in. Still quite a lot in here. Two seats, all the gear stick, handbrake, everything's still in. Let's see if I can get you in without. Gauges are still on. I can't see those myself, so don't know how well it's going to turn out. Doors missing. Side. Step still there, look, still works. Yeah. Works quite well actually. <laughs> Same again, this would have just been a, a farm vehicle. I mean, the wallies have probably been here smashing it up, but it's got some tools and looks and bars and stuff, so it would have been used just to haul stuff around. That is abandoned by the look of it, so we'll go over to there now. Look at this. I like that. See, see how all the walls got loads of moss all over it. I want to take a photo for Instagram. Yet again, second property built out of that beautiful brick. It's quite a big house, actually. I mean, this is a beautiful part of the country. So to have that as your garden would be would have been amazing. All it up. Got the original single pane windows. Now these are grade two listed. These, both of these buildings are grade 2 listed so even if you bought this property never mind at least it's secure so it comes around this side okay that's like got like a red coating on it I'm not sure if that would have been painted it's obviously not painted that isn't because they haven't painted the mortar or the I don't know if that's would that be lime mortar because you wouldn't be able to paint that well so that must be a maybe a different type of of brick compared to these or oh, that's got a tinge of red so maybe these was all a red originally um, I'm not sure if you know comment below maybe the because the rain's quite a, like acidic is it it's got like acid in so maybe the acid from the rain water washes it away over time I'm not sure but strange how if, if it was rain it's strange how if you look at that and go there there's a clear difference get my phone out for this yeah so just some some logs, some sticks, suspension component there from the Land Rover, a damper, an old light switch. Just some, maybe that's the log store where they kept all the material to burn. And what would this one be? Oh my God, look at that. This would have, so this, this old door here. Let's just make sure there's nothing gonna get frightened. That's got a light switch in the same. But this would have been, I'm not sure what that little hatch would have been there. But this would have been a toilet, look. Nice spider. So there's two toilets there, look. That's mad, that's proper old school, that. Where you would have probably had to dig that out as well. There's no sewage to it. So, I wonder what year that would have been then. Another store here. That's a big stone like mantelpiece there, that fireplace up there. There's a, a little fire. There's a wasp nest up there. Old shovels, barbed wire, a couple of little jerry cans, oil can, old shelf up there. That's an old barrel there, look. An old barrel for something, whatever that would have been on it. 
I won't go properly into here. I'll just try and point out a few things. Not quite nice little pokey room. Yeah, you can pretty much see similar to in here. It's kind of a little bench thing there. Don't really know what that's for. With two things on it, that's uh, different. Obviously something's missing off the top, I'd have thought. And there at the back, I don't know how well you can see that. There's an old, is it headboard? Off a bed, but like a cast iron one. That's really old. Same as around the back, beautiful place. Quite a few cracks in it now, but neglected. Single pane windows. Downstairs is boarded up quite well. But look at this. Look at this original door. Some solid, proper, solid door. But look at this. Got kind of a blacksmithed iron handle and then a wooden, never seen that. Can you see that? A wooden latch thing. Hear it? Obviously this is actually locked by, look at the size of those keys. And you can see the mechanism here. But look at that with a wood, I've never seen that. With a wooden stake on it kind of thing. And it's awesome. Look, look at this. So you've got your gas bottles here, your butane gas. There's one there, and there's two there. And they obviously had these connected up, look, and just rigged up for in the house, maybe for the fires or or whatever. But they literally just, because there's no, obviously no gas supply permanent here, and then just had them on this little setup outside. Just shows how... I suppose we take things for granted really because even this you'd have had to go down the local store and pick that up and then rig it up like that and you have to come out in the rain and do it whereas now it's just houses have got gas to them okay not everywhere in the world so don't get that wrong but yeah we do kind of take things for granted i believe look how all this has just grown now right next to the house those roots as well potentially could be compromising the footing or at least underneath this property. Time again, boarded on the outside. Got another original door. Solid. Imagine someone opened that. Nice uh, original windows, quite intact. Boarded from the inside because some of these, I think are they sash windows they called? They slide up quite easily sometimes and they kind of no longer lock. So that's a good thing that they've done that. You can see here, yeah, this place has obviously got a basement. So that's ventilation for it. Exploring in the summer normally means you've got shorts on and uh, you're getting cut and stung. Love it. I love these little lamps. Lantern thing lamps. Let's see where the sun is. There. Love those. This is new look. Yeah, that's interesting. So someone's by the look of it put this door on. That's quite new and it's varnished as well, so they obviously want to keep it on. And then they've locked it and then filled over the lock, which is quite a good idea. Another outside toilet. Yeah, so same as the other one, look. A real small outside toilet, but there's no drainage to it. There's, there's like a lift-up seat, which it's quite lighter, that is, compared to the wooden one. But there's the ventilation for it. There's no, so this sort of very, very early setup. There probably, would, there's obviously toilets inside now, I would imagine. This early setup wouldn't have even had drainage to it. That would have just been a, like a tank or certainly like a, a section but you would have filled that up and then at, vet, at some point you'd have had to clear it all out yourself i suppose it would have been the young kids it would have been their job for being naughty so this is how beautiful it is look it's literally if you see right over the back it is just in the middle of nowhere there's just okay you've got this mound here and the other side of it there is some properties but other than that 
there's one or two farms as well but it's just it's just phenomenal it's just it'd be so peaceful here an old a very old what they used to call a cherry bomb cherry because of the color they was always painted in red but a cherry bomb exhaust they was very popular in the sort of late 80s early 90s bit of uh, farming equipment like a little section there with some frames and that in i love that and then there's some a couple of outbuildings left before i get some drone footage and we leave some old wooden bed posts there and another very early bed bed frame headboard now this is really early obviously these would have rotated and dug in the ground maybe pulled the soil up I don't know the technical term for it but I mean that's it's a very early bit of farming equipment that one here's that thing I was referencing up up, uh, up on top of the stairs this is the make obviously all this is the chains what drive it this in here would have another chain or a belt in probably a belt seeing as it's got such a big cover on cool thing about this is this little petrol engine you've got a Bosch spark plug in it so you've got here you've got the little air filter I think maybe I'm not sure no no sorry sorry scrap that little fuel tank so that's where you put the fuel in obviously it would have had a high HT lead on here's the little fuel filter there's the little carb which you got like a little butterfly that you can it's got open and closed wrote on it and there oh there's the HD lead look let's put that back on there look at that can't quite see I wonder how you've got the battery power for it let's have a wander around this side must have been on some sort of okay so that's where the motor would rotate the engine would rotate into that which then pulls that it is a belt look yeah a belt system there but it must have had like a dynamo on it or something there's a little exhaust to actually get the power for the ignition should be able to tell if I follow the HT lead I'm curious follow the lead that should go to the power supply is there so there that HT lead goes to that there which is a little on and off switch which runs into there so it must have some sort of dynamo sort of system or something in there not sure so we're coming over to see this other building over here all right so that was a steep climb but this one's just an empty shell you can see these may be just outbuildings, but kind of look too big for an outbuilding. Okay, so that's the upstairs, so where we've just been. I'm not sure if this would have originally been a house, or if it's just purposely built just for cattle. But as you can see, upstairs is empty, and then it's just slots. I don't know what they're called, but they're just feeding trays for whatever cattle would be in here. I don't know. You've got this little cool little uh, water system here, which runs. So that maybe is it PTU, is it? What you have on the back of the Land Rovers and that. So maybe you would have connected that to the PTU or to the drive or whatever. Run the engine up, which would have rotated that, which would have rotated that pulley, belts, and then driven that pump. And then that pump would draw whatever it would be drawing out. Is it water? Or maybe they would maybe connect the food to that. And then maybe that's, does that pump the food all the way around the barn? But you can see they probably kept the cattle in here overnight. As you come to this tractor, there's a crankshaft here, look. It's only got two pistons left on it, which are, oh my God, that sea solid. So there's two of the pistons for one and four. And there's a little gear which would have driven the oil pump or even maybe just actually the timing obviously came out of that oh okay that oh that's mad so this the engine looks built into the frame 
So that would have been taken out. That there is the block. And then the crank sits in there. So the head and everything. So the frame was basically the engine. I don't know if these would have been water galleries. Seems big for a water gallery, but never seen that. Tires are flat, steering wheel still on. Pretty cool that, it's quite stripped. It amazes me as to why you would have taken the crank out and then just put it there. Mad. But that's the end of this one. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it, a little bit different. And uh, I'll see you next time.